What's going on world, it's your boy Alex Miner, and today we're gonna to be talking about a fairly new RGB panel that has been making the rounds of YouTube and the internet, and it's this guy, the Falconized F7 Pocket Light. Now, I've actually had this light for about three months. Falconized sent it to me, and I'm really glad they did because, spoiler alert, I really like it. I'm not gonna go super deep into the spec, but just reading off the back of the thing, I can tell you that it's got a 3000 milliamp hour battery. I found that it lasts at full power over an hour. I say an hour and a half, maybe even two hours. I can't say with certainty, but I know that I've had it last at full power around 90 minutes. It's got everything that you expect. It's got a bunch of effects in it. This actually has the most effects out of any of the RGB panels that I've seen in this form factor. It's got 20. The only downside to those effects is that you can't control the intensity. It comes with this carrying case, which I really like. It's got a Velcro strap on the back for, I guess you could attach it to your camera bag strap or something like that, or even your belt. And inside it charges via USB-C. You've got this little uh, mounting arm with quarter 20s on the end. I I really like the fact that it comes with this. This is something that you don't see on most with most of these lights. It's got all the standard stuff that you'd expect it to have. You got full control of your color, hue, saturation, intensity, 360 degree on the color wheel. It dims from 100% down to zero. That's 1% super subtle glow. It's a really good light, man. Uh, one thing that it has that a lot of these other lights don't have is it's got magnets in the back, so you can use this to mount it in unusual ways. You know, say you're on a running gun shoe, you wanna put on a light pole or something, metal light pole, the wall, a fence, anything like that. It's really convenient. If you take a look at this shot right here, this is from a food product shoot that I had a couple of months ago. I used this light under the hood of the stove. It did a really great job. And another thing that is really cool, but not a direct feature of this light, is that they have a couple of accessories available to go with this. There's a diffuser and there's also a grid. I love the grid. The diffuser, I don't find super useful because this is a small light. Even with a diffuser, it's not going to be that soft, but that grid, I love throwing the grid on here and mounting it up high to use as a hair light. That grid helps keep the spill from going all over the place. I really enjoy using it for that, also as a background light. All in all, man, it's just a really good pocket light. Now, I know a bunch of you are probably wondering about price. This light is 139-ish dollars. Price might fluctuate a little bit depending on what retailer you purchase it from. And recently, Aperture came out with their long-awaited ALMC light, which is $90. And I know some of you are gonna be saying, Alex, that light is $90, it's got Bluetooth control, why would I ever buy this over that? I'ma tell you, this light is built like a tank. I could beat somebody's head in with this light. I don't recommend you do that. I don't want you to go to jail. The ALMC, which is actually back here lighting my background, it's a great light. It's got the color quality. It's everything Aperture promised. But in the hand, it feels like a toy. This feels like a brick. If I think there's any chance of something happening to my light, I'm gonna pick this one over the ALMC because the most surprising thing about the ALMC to me was that when I picked it up, it was so light. It doesn't feel flimsy, it feels well built, but nowhere near as well built as this. That light is mostly plastic. This entire chassis is, I think it's aluminum. I'm much more confident that this light can take a beating, can stand up to some punishment, can be thrown in my bag without a case and survive a trip across the country. With the ALMC, not so much. I think what you're paying for with that price difference is the build quality because materials wise, they put some money into this. This is really, really, really well built. Another concern that some of y'all are gonna have is brightness. I don't have time today to do my whole usual breakdown with, you know, uh, scopes and everything. So I'll just tell it to you like this. Three of the major RGB panels in this form factor right now are the Bowling P1, this guy, and the ALMC. The brightness actually goes in that order. The Bowling P1 is the brightest, this comes next, and then it's the MC. All three of those lights will serve you well. They've all got really punchy color. They've all got pretty good color accuracy and, and quality of light. I have to say that I think the ALMC has the best quality of light from what I've seen. But I mean, like I said, this is built like a tank. If it got knocked over and dropped on the floor, I'm not worried it's a break. I'd be worried about the ALMC. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. 
It's your boy Alex Miner. I ain't got time to really say no more today and I've been stuttering and stumbling over this review and I'm, I'm, I'm done. See y'all next time.